Testing one, two. Gentlemen, happy Tuesday evening and welcome Hollywood Elite Wrestling. So nice to have you all here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, my name is Grandpa Choco. Welcome to the show. We want to start, as we always do, by thanking the patrons, the people who make the videos on this channel possible, and the other videos from Saturday Morning Media. Huge thanks to everyone whose name you see on the screen right now, and a special thanks to our patron producers at the patron producer level, Dorothy Pachoco, Eve Cunning, Kathy Crawford, Tony Urbano, David Akers, Jamie Don Meyer, and Vicki Sebring, who get a special mention. Hello, friends, and welcome to another evening of wrestling. We have a we have a pretty stacked card here tonight. <laughs> a pretty stacked card, and uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to waste any time, as the old cliche says. I want to get right to it. So let's start with our fan choice match. This was the match that you voted on the competitors for. Uh, I took the top two vote getting competitors on our weekly poll, and holy cow, what a match this is going to be. Bruiser Brody versus Stan Hansen to start. This is the opening match. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hello to everyone who is here so far. Lee, Dale, Thomas is going to catch the replay. Pete, welcome everyone, and to everyone else watching, let's roll some... Let's, let's roll some... Uh, dice and see who gets the initiative. Stan Hansen is going to get the initiative here to start things off uh, with some headbutts to agility. Uh, Bruiser Brody has the agility, so he's going to take those headbutts, shake them off, and reverse it with some hammer punches. And Stan Hansen's going to reverse that on the level one. Holy cow, with a boot to the midsection of Bruiser Brody. Bruiser Brody just dazed. These two men just tearing into each other. Chop! Uh, to Bruiser Brody, Bruiser Brody just did uh, dazed there. Doesn't even, uh, doesn't even fit. Uh, we've got, uh, sorry, my phone just started ringing. Let me turn on my do not disturb. Uh, okay, so hammer to back two on Bruiser Brody. Bruiser Brody is hurt too. Stan Hansen rolls a big elbow drop three. Bruiser Brody rolling on level three. Only a hurt two there and into the turnbuckle tosses Bruiser Brody into the turnbuckle. He's crushed by a big kick as Stan Hansen rolls on level two offense and throws him into the turnbuckle again. You bounce forward off the turnbuckle and into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Stan Hansen will roll on level three offense. Powerbomb three. 
Down three, leave the ring. You better believe Bruiser Brody will leave the ring. He grabs Stan Hansen, smashes him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in the ring, and now Bruiser Brody is in control and rolling on level three offense and throws Stan Hansen out of the ring. Uh, the opponent comes out of the ring to attack you. A wild brawl erupts. The wrestler with the better ring rating wins. That is going to be there, both even. So that's going to be Bruiser Brody winning on level three offense and with a big boot to the face, three on. Um, Stan Hansen hurt too. Holy moly here. Uh, big boot to the face. Oh, I rolled the wrong thing. I'm rolling again. Please ignore that. Big boot to the face. Uh, hammer punches too on Stan Hansen. Stan Hansen reversing it. Wow, what a match this has been so far. Stan Hansen with a big chop on Bruiser Brody. Dazing uh, Bruiser Brody. He, another chop. Just another chop to the chest. Bruiser Brody, though, shaking that off, reversing it on level one and hitting the Bruiser backdrop. Up, and he has the power to do that. A big move on Stan Hansen, hurting Stan Hansen. Level two for uh, Bruiser Brody with a one-handed body slam. Holy moly, down three, leave the ring. Stan Hansen will leave the ring, but crawls helplessly back in as Bruiser Brody rolls on level three offense and hits the jumping knee drop. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow, Stan Hansen rolling. The target will be five. The roll is a 12. So a very, very big kick out right there. Bruiser Brody back in control here. One fatigue token for Stan Hansen. Bruiser Brody throws Stan Hansen out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring to continue to fight, but you grab him and smash him into the announce table with an awesome move. The referee may disqualify Stan Hansen. We are rolling here for DQ, and that is it. Stan Hansen is disqualified. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, what a match here. Crazy, absolute crazy action. So we will enter in the fall information for this match. Let me make the screen a little bit bigger here so you all can see. Bruiser Brody wins uh, via DQ when Hansen smashes Brody into the announce table. So not, not the victory I don't think people wanted. I'm going to give this... I'm going to give it two stars uh, and we'll get some quotes from you, the audience in here, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, sorry, we'll do crazy action from James. Welcome, James. Great to have you here. What? I didn't hit return. OK, there we go. And uh, Lee is saying awesome match. I wish I could copy and paste this. It would make uh, typing it very much easier. And Dale is saying a great back and forth. Well, you know what? We are definitely going to... We are definitely going to sign a rematch immediately. I would love to know from you, friends, what kind of rematch would you like to see? Thinking in the world of official Legends of Wrestling special matches, what would you like the next match to be? Uh, you let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll pick something, and we will get it going. I can't talk and type at the same time. Uh, there we go. Oops. All right, so we added those match notes there. No DQ, that is what... I didn't uh, get that. Oh, Could you try up. again? Oh, for the love of Pete. My... Sorry, I'm still not... Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, there we go. Okay, so we got that in there. Uh, let's launch our game table for our next match, which is going to be the Fantastics versus the Bushwhackers. And we've got some, uh, I love these choices here. Look at these. What did I just do? Did I just, there we go. Okay, this is what I want. Uh, the Fantastics versus the Bitch, uh, the Bitch Whackers. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, Dale is saying rematch, of course. James is saying no DQ. And Dale is saying dog collar. All right, there will definitely be a rematch uh, on our next card. So you let me know uh, if you have other opinions. Uh, a lot of people are pulling for the dog collar uh, match. And that might be good to keep these two together. 
All right, let's get ready for our next match. Our next match, a tag team affair, the Fantastics, who actually, I will tell you, I am not 100% uh, 100% familiar with. Uh, they were not in uh, wrestling that I watched growing up, but uh, excited to 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 try them out here against, and I'm going to call them the Bushwhackers. I know they're the Sheep Herders, but I'm going to call them the Bushwhackers. Let's have Bobby Fulton start with Luke Williams. We will roll for initiative. And it looks like Luke Williams is going to take things off. We are slowly building the Tag Team Federation here in uh, in Hollywood Elite Wrestling. Soon we'll have to crown some champs, but we're just letting the tag teams feel each other out here. So repeated stomps by Luke Williams to start things off on level two. Hurt two there for Bobby Fulton. Uh, ooh, a double sledge three by Luke Williams, already on uh, level three, down three tag. He's going to try and tag out. Does he do it? He does do it. He is able to tag out. Tommy Rogers comes in on level one. Armbreaker two power. Uh, let's see. Luke Williams has the power, so he is going to reverse that with a back elbow ram. The Bushwhackers here have come to win. Hurt two. Holy moly. Back elbow ram three again. My goodness. Down three. Holy moly, the Bushwhackers are just taking it, taking things to the top here. Uh, out of the ring, tosses Tommy Rogers out of the ring. Tommy Rogers crawls helplessly back in. Let me see the stats here. Uh, okay, they both have... All right. So I'm going to let uh, Luke tag into Butch as Tommy Rogers climbs back into the ring. Butch is going to roll on level three offense. Fist drop two, choice C. So a moonsault, which would work on a five or less. That's not going to work. Or a uh, kick to the knee that'll work on an eight or less. That's what he's going to go for. And it does work. Level two defense for Tommy Rogers. The Fantastics not doing a, a great amount of uh, of uh, action here. Tommy Rogers rolling the tag. He needs a six or less. He gets a seven. So Butch Miller still in control. Double thrust to throat two. Dazed one. Butch Miller uh, rolling with a face rake on Tommy Rogers. Dazed one tag. Tommy Rogers going to try and tag out. He is able to tag out as Bobby Fulton comes in on level one. Double back elbow three. Big move there. Big tag team move against Butch Miller. Down three. Holy moly, Bobby Fulton. And here it is, the fantastic cradle. Uh, Luke Williams is going to try a pin save. Uh, your tag partner breaks up the pin, add one to your pin rating. While your referee is restoring order, you get some of your strength back. Opponent rolls on level two. So, uh, Bobby Fulton will roll on level two defense. The Bushwhackers using one of their fatigue, uh, tokens. Leapfrog arm breaker two. Uh, Thad, welcome, my friend. Great to have you here. Hurt two. Bobby Fulton still in control. Right hand punch three. What a comeback here for the Fantastics. Down three, tag, leave the ring. Butch Miller is going to leave the ring, uh, but he crawls helplessly back in to beat the count as Bobby Fulton rolls on level three offense. And out of the ring, what are his, let me see what his stats are. He's got two number three. He is going to roll on level two. And it's a good thing he does. Right hand punch three there. Because he's got an A ring rating, so you not want him to go out of the ring. All right, uh, here we go with another pin. The right hand punch. Uh, Luke Williams is going to not go for the pen, pin save uh, because they only have one left. Let's see if this is a mistake. Uh, five, it is a mistake. The Fantastics. Wow, what a comeback win with a right hand punch. Ladies and gentlemen, hokey smokes. That was crazy. So let's see. We have Bobby Fulton winning on Butch Miller pinfall after a right uh, hand punch. Uh, great back and forth there. Not not the most hard hitting match, but definitely a good bout with the with the Bushwhackers in control to start. But Fantastics take over and get the win. Uh, and then let's see. Uh, good bout. 
Li Long Pri. And uh, <laughs> uh, Pete is saying, great match. Two great teams. And that's Pete Renwick. Pete, uh, even though your username is lowercase, I'm going to capitalize them. Uh, I hope that is okay. There we go. All right. So we got that amazing match there. Let's look on to our next match. Our next match coming out of last week's event and the actions that happened on Gordon Soley's um, uh, little interview show. Uh, Magnum TA uh, was challenged. By, I think Magnum TA challenged Vader. Um, uh so, so anyway, that's how this match came about. It stemmed from last week's Gordon Soli interview, but it should be a hard-hitting match here. Let's roll for some initiative and ring that bell. Vader is in control here. Uh, front Chancery, one. Dazed, one. Magnum TA. Dropkick, two. Agility. Let's see, though. Magnum TA has the agility, so he's going to roll on level two offense. Right jabs, two. Hurt two, Magnum TA coming back. And a running forearm three knocks Vader down off his feet, uh, but only her two. Uh, maybe he didn't knock him down. Another running forearm there on Vader. And Vader, we're going for the pin here. The pin uh, target is two. The roll is a six. So Vader at one fatigue. Magnum TA looking great here. Hits the belly to belly suplex. A plus three. Oh my gosh. The target will be six. The roll is a four. What a match. Magnum TA just cleaning house and taking Vader out. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, that was a match. That was basic. I, I'm not gonna call it a squash match, but it kind of was a squash match. Holy moly! What a finish to that match. Magnum TA came out. Mark is saying upset, upset. Listen, I, you know, I have no horse in this game. I just ride them as it as they come, and a pinfall with a. Uh, a pinfall with a belly to belly suplex holy smokes uh, I know what a pin on Vader says says Dale holy cow that was pretty amazing uh, Mark says that I, I, I really wish I could uh, just copy and paste your brilliant comments. And uh, Dale saying, what a pin on... Oops, let me get some quotes in here. Dale Buckingham... And I'm just going to put this little note, uh, almost a squash match here. Magnum TA making a huge statement with this victory. Put him out in record time. All right. Uh, delete that second V there. There you go. All right. It is time now. This is going to take a second to get set up. Uh, l last week I asked you to vote for which wrestlers you wanted to see. And you did. And I appreciate that. And, uh, let's see. No, 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 not this, not this, not this. This is not what I want. Game table. Uh, let me see here. How am I going to do this? Oh, here. Gordon Soli, Legends Prime. That's the card we want there. And then uh, I asked you which wrestlers you wanted to see. You voted for um, uh, the top vote getters were Stan Hansen and Bruiser Brody, as you saw in the um, 
in the opening match. But then the third place vote getter, I decided to put on um, the Gordon Soli's program. So we will see him in action next week. And that is, if I can call him up here, the one and only. Let me get these up. I'm trying to keep the surprise so you don't know who Gordon Soli has come. Uh, Gordon Soli has called out. James saying Magnum TA once a one on one move match against King Kong Bundy in my Feds TV Championship. TA had an interview with Gordon Soli, got the start of the match on level three, rolled to six. Bundy didn't kick out. Amazing! I love when that happens. That that is why we love the game. I think. Uh, all right. So, oops, that's not what I wanted to hit. I wanted to go back here. Ladies and gentlemen, Gordon Soli welcomes to the program your third place vote getter. Ivan Koloff. So Ivan Koloff comes out to the ring, rolls le- on this. He rolls an eight. So let's see on Gordon Soli's card what an eight will get you. And here comes Isler. Insert the wrestler of choice, and we're completely out of time. The wrestler challenges a rival to a big match, perhaps a specialty match, and the rival comes out and accepts. Schedule a match for the next available card. So I'm going to leave it up to you, uh, the lovely fans in the chat. Who do you think comes out and challenges Ivan Koloff? Now, this did just happen right after the Magnum TA match. So is it Magnum TA uh, that, uh, that that Ivan Koloff challenges? Um, or is it someone else? So let me know in the chat uh, as we continue who you think should come out and challenge Ivan Koloff next week. I think Magnum TA is fun. That's that's uh, that's who I'm voting for, but I want to hear from you. This is your show, after all. I like uh, the fan involvement here. Uh, Magnum in a Russian chain match. That's what Thad says. Um, that uh, Fantastic, fantastic match uh, there. Um, <laughs> Ivan Koloff... Uh, People are saying Magnum TA. All right. So you know what? I'm going to take two. We are going to say next week it'll be Ivan Koloff versus Magnum TA um, for our our event. So there you go. Very, very cool. Uh, Let's – Lee is agreeing. All right. So it is set. Let me come back here and let me edit this segment really quick. Oop, not the not the match, not the match, not the match. Here we go. Edit this segment. Koloff challenges Magnum TA to a match next week. Why? How about this? This this will get Vader mad. Why don't you fight somebody? who is actually tough. That opens the door for a, um, for a Vader, uh, Vader Koloff, uh, you know, skirmish down the line. And, um, uh, Magnum TA accepts. All right, there you go. So that will happen next week. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time already for our main event. And our main event is for a the number one contender to the world title. So the winner of this match will get to face uh, Harley Race for the championship. And that match will be coming soon. So Manny Fernandez versus Gorgeous George. Both of these, I went through the rankings and I looked at, for the past month, who has been the most, you know, who's been ranked highest. And these two came in at number one and number two. So uh, one of these two will be facing uh, Harley Race for the title. So let's roll for some initiative. And it looks like Gorgeous George will take things uh, on the initiative here. Body Slam 2 power. And uh, Manny Fernandez actually has the power, so he's going to reverse that with a measured knee drop. 
measure twice, drop once. Gorgeous George, though, reversing that on level one. Interference by Valet. So, uh, what is her name? Sherry Dupree. Interference there on Manny Fernandez. Hurt two on Manny Fernandez. Gorgeous George rolls a hammerlock choice F. Uh, let's see. His power is a zero, so that's what he's going to go for. This running lariat will work on a seven or less. It is a six. He gets it. Manny Fernandez in trouble. Oh, no. Rolling the pin. Here we go. The target is three. The roll is a seven. One fatigue token for Manny Fernandez as Gorgeous George continues. Locks him in the figure four leg lock. Hurt two for Manny Fernandez. Gorgeous grip. It goes from the leg lock to the grip. And down three, Manny Fernandez is going to get to the ropes and pull himself out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. The referee comes out, warns him to stop. George shoves the referee. He's going to roll for disqualification, but you know what? I think uh, Sherry Dupree is going to roll her distractor rating here to try and avoid getting DQ'd. Oh no, rolls a seven. So no DQ there, or no distraction there. And there you go. Manny Fernandez is now your number one contender as gorgeous George is disqualified for using a chair. Oh my gosh. Uh, actually for shoving the ref. So there you go. Manny Fernandez gets it. The crowd not liking this one bit. They wanted to see a decisive win, but they're not going to get it here tonight via DQ when George shoves the ref. And we're going to call that match just a one-star match. And the fans are not happy. And I'm listen, the, the the dice go how they go. I don't have anything to say. I'm not one of those uh, commissioners that comes in and goes, oh, hold it, playa. It's going to be a non-DQ match. All right. And uh, Dale is saying boo as well. Why do I keep putting an E? I'm sorry, Dale. I don't mean to put it. <laughs> I don't need to put a uh, an E at the end of your name all the time. And Mark says it's a conspiracy against the gorgeous one. I'm going to make sure I'm making spelling your name right. Okay, there we go. And then Jeffrey just throws uh, just throws trash in the ring. All right. So the fans not happy, but Manny Fernandez is the new uh number 1 contender. Uh That match will not happen on the next card. It'll happen a few cards from now. Uh, all right. So before we before we bid you all adieu here tonight, let's do. I always like to do this. Let's take a look at our rankings because I always like to do the rankings. Let's do. Well, we'll leave it at last three months and see how it comes up here. And uh, let's see. Shane Douglas still ranked number one if you go by the last three months um, there. Uh, that is a good title. The Powers of Pain, the Fantastics there. I, let's just see for the last month, though. Uh, let's see what our top ten is for the last month. Manny Fernandez ranked number one. There you go. Harley Race, the world champion, down at number one. But he hasn't wrestled other than winning the title uh don morocco's in the top there i gotta get him in a couple more matches 
And the Powers of Pain, number one, the Bulldogs, the Fantastics, lots of people with one win, zero losses. We got to get all these folks fighting. Hey, friends, who would you like to see wrestle next time? Uh, head on over to lowpromoter.com forward slash vote and let me know. I will say that this week, it is a lot of the people who are ranked at the very, very bottom. So there's a lot of quote unquote enhancement talent and people who have only had one match and stuff. So head on over there. Let me know who you would like to see. Now, before we go here tonight, I do want to say next week, I think this show is going to be on Monday. I think we're going to do the wrestling on Monday because uh, Tuesday I will be otherwise occupied uh, at this time of the day. So um, I'm pretty sure it'll be Monday, uh, but it might also be pushed to another day during the week. So stay tuned for that. I will definitely let folks know in advance. Please go vote for who you would like to see wrestle next time. Thank you so much for tuning in here, ladies and gentlemen. It is always a pleasure to have you with me. Make sure that you're subscribed, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. And I hope you have a great week. Uh, thank you for being part of this. Um, this is really, it's so much fun. I look forward to Tuesday night every single week. And I'll look forward to Monday night next week or whatever night it is. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Be safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.